Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Shantanu from RT Crafty. First, look at these two portraits. These portraits are drawn with wrong proportions. Today, I am going to teach you how to draw portraits from the front step by step. Now, anyone can draw portraits by following some tips and tricks. So, let's start. Let's start to draw a face from the front, step by step. Step 1. Draw a circle with two intersecting lines that connect directly in the center and at right angles to each other. Step 2. Draw a square in which each corner touches the circle. This square will eventually represent the edges of the face. The top line will eventually become the bottom hair line. The bottom line will become the nose line, while the center line will become the brow line. Step 3. Measure the distance from the center line to the bottom line. From the bottom line of the square, use this measurement to mark the location of the bottom of the chin. Step 4. The eyes are generally found or a line in the center of the head. Step 5. Draw the eyes. The width of the head from ear to ear generally measures the same length of five eyes. This means that if we want to draw the eyes with accurate proportions, then we need to draw them so that they match this approximate measurement. Step 6. Locate and draw the nose. The bottom of the nose can be found on the bottom line of the square that you drew in step 2. The width of the nose varies from person to person but it is generally as wide as the inside corners of the eyes. Step 7. Locate and draw the mouth. If we divide the gap between the nose line and the chin into three equal parts. The mouth line is in the upper line amongst the two divided lines. The corners of the mouth generally align with the inside edges of the pupils. Step 8. Draw the ears. The top of the ears will generally align with the brow line, while the bottom of the ears align with the nose line. Step 9. 
Step 9. Draw the hairline. If you are drawing someone that has long hair that overlaps the forehead, the hairline may not be visible, but it's still important to know where it's located. The hairline is found on the top edge of the square that you drew in step 2. Step 10. Draw the hair. Step 11. Add the neck. Now, we need to add a neck to our floating head. The tendency of the most beginning artist is to make the neck too narrow. Generally speaking, the neck extends down from the bottom of the ears. Female necks are slightly more slender while the necks of the males are broader. Now I am giving details to the drawing. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and if there is any doubt or query, please put a note at the comment box below. See you in the next video. Bye.